Hi Drew Max, it's Lil Jim and I'm back with another video. So good morning as you can see. It is 7.42. Um, this is what I'm having for breakfast. Pancakes, which is pancake eggs and bacon. And I made a mistake. I don't know why they brought me up here. I do not like this cereal. I do not eat that. Like but um yeah, so I got that and I got a banana, so I'm gonna save that. Okay. Alright, some hot coffee which I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna drink. Yeah guys, but I'll be back when I'm in the hospital and the doctor coming yeah. to see me this morning and I'm trying to see if we can switch my plan to three to every three hours, but she wouldn't agree to doing that. So I was fine with that. So my nurse, she bring in my Percocet for, I guess, breakthrough pain so I can get my Dilaudid for a milligram. And she bring it in, and then like a 30 minutes to an hour later, she's telling me that the doctor put in discharge papers for me. And I'm trying to figure out why, why they did that. Cause I'm still having pain, I've only been here for three days. Not only been here for three days. I just got admitted two days ago. I was over at Hillcrest at UCSD, and every time I get admitted, they send me over here. And they always, every time I come over here, they I always have a problem with these doctors, and I'm tired of it. Like it's, if it ain't one thing, it's another, and I'm getting sick of it. I'm tired of this. And it's not like I was it's not like I was disrespecting the doctor or being mean to them or cussing them out or anything. I'm like, okay, you can't do it, that's fine. I got upset about it. But I'm like, okay, well I'll just stick to every four hours. I'm just so tired of having to deal with these doctors. Like why they gotta treat sickle cell so unfairly? Like it's not fair to us. It's not we didn't ask to be we didn't ask to have this disease. We was born with thick shit. Um, no, oh, yeah. The doctor was so rude, it don't make no sense. Like he come in here to do his round. He he asked me a few questions and I get ready to speak. He let me speak. And when I start speaking, he literally walks come out the room. Like he just plumb out rude. Like it didn't like I was yelling at him, cussing him out. None of that. I was so respectful. And he just walks plumb out the room. Like for real. I'm so tired of these doctors here. I cannot wait to move. I'm so tired of living in California. Ready to go back to the South. I'm so tired of these West Coast motherfuckers out here. They have no kind of respect. They don't. But if I was to cuss them out and shit, then they'd really be trying to call security and shit. Only been here for three days. Sickle cell pain practice lasts longer than three days. Every time I come to this exact hospital, I get mistreated here. I'm so tired of it. You know, I even go to my hospital and I get admitted. They send me over here, so I have no choice but to come here for a bed. I'm so tired of this. So I'll be back, guys. It's getting so ridiculous because if like they, if like, these doctors treat sickle cell so much worse now that we, now that we're in 2024, like it's getting so, just getting so frustrating because when you came here, I was talking to him, trying to tell him about how I feel and why I'm not ready to go home yet. He completely walked out the door, like this, this rude as fuck, just walked out and in the middle of me speaking and trying to talk to him. I wasn't yelling at him, I wasn't screaming at him, I wasn't cussing, using profanity, none of that. And he still just walked out the room like shit. I'm just so tired. Like, it don't make no damn sense at all. So my mom had called up here and she said that they're not discharging me right now. So we're going to see what the plan is. So I'll keep you guys updated and everything on what's going to go down. So yeah. Hey right, guys, so I have an update that, well, so... A new doctor, this is guy assigned to me and they help me so much. They changed my orders and everything. He's, everything's like Q4, but he up my delighted dose and he, up, he changed my oral dose and up from Oxy, from Percocet to Oxy, which is 20 milligrams. So yeah, I got an update. And I just thank God he helped me and he was there for me. 
He even gave me his card with his personal number on there and his, and his regular number on there. Like his work number, his cell number on there and everything. So if I need any help, I can just text him, give him a call or whatever. So yeah, then that's the end of this video, guys. Sorry, I got a little emotional. It just gets really hard when we have to deal with sickle cell and we have disrespectful doctors sitting up here judging us, um, mistreating us, being rude to us, you know, and just, just being, just basing off, basing, basing our uh, lab job or our vitals based off our hemoglobin levels and if we have pain or not. And I just feel like it's not fair. Like, we can, we can be out of 10 and we can be in a full-blown pain crisis and still be sick. So, you know, just for, for him to just be like, I should be fine because my labs are fine. And that just didn't sit right, right with me because they, all, they always judge us based off our labs. And if the labs are fine to them, you know, they are, they just literally up there. I feel like we're not in no pain. Like, it just gets ridiculous. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little small video I did. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Warrior X.